Hello and welcome to another Intro to Programming and Database tutorial. In today's tutorial we will going to learn how you can convert a pseudocode that you probably might have seen in a couple of tutorials ago into a Visual Basic console based application. So let me going to let me start a new project. We're going to pick console application. We're going to name this project display first name and last name. We're going to click OK to create the project. Now once the project gets created, you're going to notice that it's going to take you directly into the console environment where you're going to be writing the code. Let me zoom in the code. So I'm going to press and hold the control key on the keyboard while I move the wheel on the mouse. So notice how it increases, it zooms into the code, so you can pretty much do the same on your computers. So now, if you notice, there is a main which is preceded by the word sub. Now let me explain this to you in a very, very easy terms. Main, at this point, understand it pretty much like this, that this is the entry point into your program. So whenever you run your program against the compiler, the compiler is looking for this entry point, which is called the main. It's pretty much like the same concept. If you enter a house, there is a main entrance, and then there is a back entrance. The main entrance is the main entrance into the house, or the main gate. So that's basically the whole idea behind this specialized, what you call a module, or a sub-procedure. That's what the word sub is for, or functionality. And the idea is that this is the entry point into your logic by the compiler. So it's always looking for this main. So make sure in console-based application, you should always have a main. Now, if you may remember in the pseudocode, we had display command. And we followed that by a statement, that first name, and then displayed somebody's first name. I will going to write those pseudocode statements again for you. So before I start writing the display statement, let me introduce to you the idea of writing comments in VB. In VB, we have this comments, which is short for commentary, which is some code that you would like to write, but you do not want the compiler to treat it as a code. Rather, you want the compiler to ignore it. This is the commentary of the programmer on the code. It is a very good practice to write comments in your code. Comments start with a single quotes, so it turns everything on that line from the point where the comment is placed to the end of the line in green. So let me now write the pseudocode that I would like to convert into my VB equivalent code. So here, here I have the statement that we wrote with the display command. First name. This was one of the pseudocode statements that we wrote. The other pseudocode statement that we write, wrote was display name Yusuf. So those were the two pseudocode statements that we wrote to display the first name and the last name on the screen. Now we're going to convert each one of these statements into its equivalent VB code. Now in computer terminology the computer is also called system, therefore the VB developers have created this specialized object called system, which refers to the current system that on which you're sitting. Since this is a console-based application, therefore the system object will going to refer to console environment. So this is console. So the first two words are pretty much telling the underlying compiler that I would like to talk to the existing system and I want to display my output on the console environment followed by a specialized procedure of console called write line. So I would now like to write a line on the console. This is basically pretty much the statement says. And here within the double quotes you're going to write the exact same message that you wrote on the line above in the pseudocode. Uh, let me unstretch these so that you could probably see both lines, the pseudocode line, as well as the line that we coded. So if you notice, the word display got converted into this statement in VB. 
However, whatever was in front of the display went inside as it is. Now we will going to follow the same concept. So I'll copy and paste and I'll replace the word first name with the word last name. And then we will going to put Yusuf instead of Saad. Now this is the translation of our pseudocode into its equivalent vb.net console code. Now let's run this application. In order to run an application, you click this plus sign to start the application. But when you click this plus sign, you will notice that the output will be generated but will not stay on the screen. So what we do instead is we would now like to uh, debug the code, but we would like to use this shortcut control F5 versus start debugging, which is a keyboard shortcut F5. We'll use start without debugging control F5. So it basically runs the program and makes the window stand on the screen for you to be able to debug the window. So let's use this option. Now if you notice, here is the output on the console. First name Saad, last name Yusuf, which is exactly what we wanted to solve in this business problem. So we have been able to successfully convert our logic of displaying the first name and last name from pseudocode to a VB program. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.